Hello Pisces, welcome back. Welcome to my channel if you're new. I'd like to thank everyone for viewing, liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up on your way out if you do like the video because it does help my channel, but it also helps all the other Pisces that need to see the message, receive the message. I want to point out that it is a general reading. It's definitely going to completely resonate for some of you, but not all of you, okay? So those of you that it doesn't completely resonate for, please take what does resonate. That's yours. Those are your bits and pieces. Leave the rest behind. Everyone can feel totally free to check out their moon rising and Venus signs as well, okay? Because that's going to give you a much bigger, broader, more well-rounded view of just exactly what this message is from spirit to you, okay? Now... Spirit wants us to take this card, but are we taking another one? No. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get messages from Spirit for you in regards to what it is, what guidance that you've been closed off to. Okay, we're going to start with the Soul's Journey card. All the decks are listed below. Click on the title of this video to drop down the description box. There you'll find the listing of the decks as well as the extended link for this video. Okay. Loneliness. Oh, Pisces, I'm so sorry. I know that I am never alone. Spirit wants you to know that even though you feel lonely, you are never alone. Never. Motivation Manifesto, the card you have is, the joyous masters know that amid all the chaos and conflict, all the hurry and wickedness of the world, there is something solid within that is beautiful and steady and good. There's always good in everything and we need to find that. We need to find the good in everything. Okay? so. If you're going through a sad time, and it seems like you are, you're feeling kind of alone or lonely, try and find the good in that. Always see things from a place of love rather than a place of fear, meaning positive rather than negative, right? There's only two ways you can see things, positive or negative. And we can choose to see things from a positive or a negative place. It's up to us. So, now... So... This is part of the divine guidance that you're missing out on, okay? That there is something very positive within this loneliness that you're feeling. Whatever that is, you know, I don't know yet, but some of you, I feel like, are going through a breakup with a loved one. And maybe that's why you're feeling lonely. Maybe you've just been alone for a really long time and you're just, you're tired of being alone. You're getting lonely and you want a partner. Find the good in this because... When you're in this low vibing place here of loneliness or any negative spot, you're, you're in a place of lack according to the universe and you will attract more lack into your life. You can't attract what you want from a place of lack. Okay, you have to be in a place of happy and positive and loving what you've got at this point in time. So now we're going to get some Tarot Illuminati. Okay, we're going to get a bigger picture of what's going on here for you, Pisces. Oh, this guy looks lonely. I don't mean, I'm not laughing at you. It's just, I can't believe the card that came out because he does look lonely. Seven of Pentacles. It looks to me like he's been lonely for a while because the Seven of Pentacles, this is something that's been going on for a long time. So I feel like some of you have been alone for quite a while. But guess what? The Seven of Pentacles is the card of harvest time. You're not going to be alone much longer, Pisces. Something's coming in. Part of your divine guidance as well. Seven of Wands. Look at this guy. He's got one wand and he's trying to fight off six people, with each with a wand. Stand tall and proud. And stand up for what you believe in. Be true to you, Pisces. 
There's your message. Be true to you. And now you have the Princess of Wands. Yeah, this is a beautiful card. You are... Look at the red. I keep getting drawn to the red. Red represents anger, but it also represents passion. You are being asked to move towards your passion. Whatever that might be for you. But this is all about you. This is that spark that sets off your desire to move toward whatever it is your passion is. This could be a person. It could be a business that you've been wanting to start for a long time. It could be finances, changing jobs. But whatever it is, you got to be true to you and you have to stand up for what you believe in because no matter what everybody else around you thinks you should be doing or a direction you should be moving in, it's got to be about your passions, what you want. Then you have the Four of Cups. And what I'm getting with this is you're fearing disappointment. You haven't moved in that direction yet because you fear disappointment. You fear rejection. And maybe you've reached out to this person before and been rejected or felt you were rejected. But look at This is a gift from spirit. This is what spirit's trying to guide you toward. But you've been closed off to it. And no doubt, look at him. He doesn't even see this cup coming in. This is the Ace of Cups. This is your one and only. The one. The one that you're passionate about. But you're still focused on all these other people or, or times that you reached out to this person and got rejected or felt that you were rejected. This is what you're closed off to. This brand new passionate beginning with the one the one okay find something solid within this and beautiful because that'll pull you out of this this disappointment mode here feeling disappointed you've got to get out of that if you're going to see this this ace of cups Okay, now we're going to get a Gaia Oracle card. Oh, nice. Tree of Life, card number one. This is new beginnings, fertility, creativity, destiny, magical blessings. Oh, this is so beautiful. This new beginning and these magical blessings are going to bring balance to your life, wish fulfillment for an eternity. Lifelong partnership, lifelong love. This is somebody, whoever this is for you, Pisces, this is somebody that's going to, this time, either this time with this person or this time with a romantic relationship or partner. This is going to be long term. It's likely going to be the person you end up marrying. This sits on top of the Seven of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. And look at that, 77. Very, very divine number. That's divine guidance, divine intervention, divine timing. Seven of Pentacles is all about divine timing. The timing is right. This is destined, absolutely destined. And then you have the search, card number six, all about love. Feeling lost, confused, lonely. You got to get out of that. 
that's on the seven of wands and the princess of wands you've got to try and find a way to get out of this feeling lost confused and lonely because this is on the seven of wands and the princess of wands it's about standing your ground standing tall and proud and going after what it is that you want your passion what it is you're passionate about you've got to get that spark back so that you have the drive and ambition to go after it liberation <laughs> card 25 which breaks down to a seven again that divine number that you have so much of wow breaking free from a negative attachment this is you rising above this negative attachment to feeling disappointed and lonely because this is on top of the the princess of wands and the four of cups you will be liberated if you allow yourself to open up get out of this place of disappointment and loneliness and feel that spark of love again for this person that's what's going to carry you forward that's going to light this fire and carry things forward now we're going to get heal yourself cards a weird cut yeah cycles card number six it's all about love you've got a cycle in love opening up for you you've got to close off this cycle of loneliness disappointment negativity you got to find a way to get that spark because this is on top of the magical blessings the destiny creativity fertility and the feeling lost, confused, and lonely. This cycle needs to come to an end so this one can begin. This one will begin when this one ends. You gotta let it go. Oh, nice. Nice. Sexual arts. Card 33. 33 is, a, is an ascended master's number. You have the biggies here helping you, trying to guide you. What a beautiful card. If you notice this, this feminine here is translucent, meaning that you're not together yet, but they're always with you in the 5D spiritual. They're always with you and you're always with them. This is also giving me the message that um, you might need to balance your feminine and masculine energies because you're very strong in the masculine here. But the feminine needs to be raised up a little bit because this sits on top of the search and liberation, breaking free. Breaking free, it, it's, it's from that negative attachment. The feminine energy, she is never attached to anything because she knows that being attached to anything specific is going to take her out at the knees at any given moment we, we, we should never be attached to anything because if it disappears like I said it takes us out at the knees okay also being attached to anything negative that's going to stop positive from coming in right which again can be brutal emotionally Okay, I had to get a drink. Now we're going to get an Island Time Wellness card. Not today, not dealing, hurt avoiding a conversation call or person boundaries still angry you have got this is what you've got to let go of you're never going to get 
free of that lonely feeling until you let go of this. This is the negative attachment. Refusing to reach out to that person because you're still angry about something. Maybe you're angry about being rejected in the past by them. You gotta let that go, Pisces. You gotta let that go. You have something so beautiful trying desperately to make its way to you. And Spirit is trying to guide you in the direction of the path of least resistance towards your destiny. But you're, you're refusing to get off the past of most resistance here by, by remaining attached to this negative feeling and emotion and these negative thoughts. Okay, now we're going to get a Synchronicity Oracle card. Pisces, if this isn't your energy, then it's your person, okay? This is why the two of you haven't come together, because this is where they're at. Okay, but I'm reading for Pisces, so I'm reading that it is you. But it can go either way. So, like I said, Synchronicity Oracle card now. Too many cards. And I'm being told to look at the bottom of the deck once we're done with this card here. Okay. See the bigger picture. Yeah. The anger that you're feeling right now, if it is you or the hurt, is that going to matter five years from now? No, it's not. So that's not the bigger picture. Now the bottom of the deck. <laughs> you and or your person are going through a big personal transformation right now or you're about to because whoever is stuck here <clears throat> that isn't open to divine guidance and I'm going to read it like it's you Pisces because you're closed off from the divine guidance that's trying to get you on the path of least resistance you are going to get a kick in the pants you're going to have a tower moment and it's going to bring this big personal transformation okay now we're going to get a just ask oracle card by the way if you start seeing 12 12 when i created this deck i had been seeing numbers a lot of numbers quite frequently and i wanted to know what they meant so i asked my guides what they gave me is what's on these cards and about half of this deck is numbered okay so what it means is if you've been seeing 12 12 or especially if you start seeing it from this point forward this is what it means for you this is the message that spirits trying to get through to you see the bigger picture okay okay you just ask oracle card yes this has been the message all the way through. Stay positive. Find something in your life that makes you smile, something that you love, something you are so incredibly happy about when you think about it or look at it that puts a smile on your face or makes you feel the love emotions. Focus on those because everything else will take care of itself. Okay? Now we're going to get a Whispers of Love card for you. why they're called the joyous masters because they are masters of feeling joy and that's where you need to get to it's where we all are headed it's not just you Pisces so you're not alone oh I've never had this card it's beautiful card 10 oh maybe I have it, it's about endings I think it's about this cycle that's coming to an end for you and um, 10 breaks down to a 1, which is about a new beginning. Treasure your loved ones. It's important to love others deeply. Open yourself up to the love, Pisces. That's what I'm hearing with this card. And you're, the world is yours. Look at It's about to drop into this person's hands. The world is yours. That's beautiful. 
absolutely beautiful. Your reading is, is amazing. If you can let go of the negative attachments, you are headed for such beauty. Likely your eternal soulmate. You gotta let go of the anger and resentment and the hurt from the past. Become a master of joy. I want to ask your guides and spirit what it is that you can do, can do, be, think, and or feel to bring yourself to this place of being a master of joy rather than being in that place of disappointment and loneliness. So you can quickly move through this and get to this eternal soulmate. We're going to do that in the extended. Click the title to drop the description box down. The link is there for the extendeds. Those of you that are going over, I'll see you over there. Those of you that are not, I love you guys. And I will see you next time.